My name is Gary Wyatt, Extension Educator with the University of Minnesota Extension. And today we're going to talk about woody propagation by stem cutting. And you can do this on many different shrubs, mainly with willows and dogwoods. So you want to go out in the springtime of the year, maybe March or April in uh, Minnesota, and stem cut maybe uh, from stem cuttings of uh, here's pussy willow and streamco willows and different other types of willows and dogwoods can be cut in that time of year. And then you want to cut them about six to eight inches or ten inches long and then put them in a bucket of water right away to make sure the stems stay moist. And then we'll go to uh, a, a sandbox and show you how to plant them. Here we have a cold frame or a sandbox that can be used for stem cutting propagation. And uh, you just plant the stems that are about the six to eight inch or ten inch long uh, cuttings that you've done in the spring. Uh, plant them right away in a sandbox. Uh, this is just a four by three type of frame here, a uh, wooden frame, then with a tarp on underneath or underneath the sand, and you dump sand into it. And you have a cover that covers it all over the top, like a cold frame, like a plastic cover. And then you keep them watered. You do have to keep them watered, uh, obviously, daily in, in hot summer. Maybe a shade type of uh, partial shade is really recommended for this type of a box. Uh, and then we've got, uh, obviously, Streamco willows here. Uh, we've got some um, yellow dogwoods and red osier dogwoods here, some other types of willows, uh, and then also some pussy willows there, and some uh, curly willows and, and scarlet curls willow on the edge on the far side there. Uh, so if we dig up one of these, we can show you some of the rooting that's been going on here. And so this particular uh, plant, uh, Willow has been planted for a couple months and uh, it's been pro propagating pretty well. It's growing some root systems on the bottom part where the sand was uh, covered uh, the stem and it's growing very well. Now once the plants uh, grow tall enough for the cold frame or to hit the plastic lid, then you want to remove the plastic lid and then uh, keep them removed. And then uh, let them grow to a sizable uh, size, I guess, so ready for replanting. Then it could be replanted in a pot or replanted in a, in a permanent landscape of where you want to plant these particular plants. This is a mature or a, a mature planting. It's actually been planted a year in this cold uh, frame area or sandbox. Uh, we have the uh, curly willows and uh, the streamco willows and the dogwoods and the pussy willows down here. Uh, you can see that uh, one year's growth uh, from last spring uh, has really taken hold and obviously we removed the cover uh, last summer and uh, it's really grown during the summer. But you do have to keep water onto this, this particular uh, box because it's all sand. And uh, certainly these need to be remo removed and, and either potted or planted in a permanent location. So review again, uh, woody stem cuttings can be made in early spring, March to April in Minnesota. And then uh, cut to stems to uh, six to eight inches, almost 10 inches long could be. Uh, stick them in a sandbox and then cover them all over with a plastic lid and then keep them watered and they should be propagated uh, uh, okay. Uh, you don't need to use a rutting compound, but you could if you want to. Uh, and uh, wish you good luck in propagating woodies.